So the vehicle is meant to absorb the impact and divert energy around the occupant compartment. Well, what about more newer vehicles? So again, let's compare the same vehicle just a couple years apart. This is a 2014 Ford Explorer versus a 2020 Ford Explorer. And even the 2014 blew the door off the hinges. So the 2014 Ford Explorer, the door left the hinges and pushed all the way back. It still has some of the other safety features like the side curtain airbag, but the energy went into the occupant compartment. As you can see in the 2020, it did absorb the impact, but then it diverted around the occupant compartment. Wherever you see these little dots, they're reference points. So we wanna know how far a panel moved from its adjacent panel. So the two doors, as you can see, the front door is separated on the 2014, the 2020, same impact, same impact point, and the doors did not move much because the energy was diverted around the occupant compartment. So as you can see in the 2013 to 2019, it has a poor structural uh, design where you can see how much this pillar is impeded and gone inside the occupant compartment. So it's actually in the foot zone or the foot area. And the steering wheel is actually pushed back into uh, the occupant. So they would have been severely hurt. And this is a more modern vehicle. So you can also see in the side by side, the older vehicle, his head even missed the airbag, whereas the newer vehicle, the head was cushioned very nicely in the side curtain and front driver's airbag.